2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Golf Club Championship is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Olby alongside Rich Beam and we're at TPC Boston. Take us through this opening hole. Par 4, 365 for the backs. This is as simple as it gets. Players generally going with the long iron hybrid at the most. They're going to have a wedge for the second. The only place they can stick the flag on this hole on the left-hand side or all the way in the back that will present any kind of challenges. An opening three here is almost required. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. And let's see what he can do here today. Second shot here on the first. That's a high quality recovery shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This is what they have left for birdie here. Getting off to a great start at this event. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So yes, birdie on the first, great job. Welcome to this par five hole. Players looking to make four here, but never disappointed with a par five. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 190 yards. What a drive that was. Going with the seven. Yeah, this one's a little bit left. Not so nice. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? A birdie putter waits. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Hey guys, we're checking in with Justin Thomas as he gets set for his next shot here on the 11th. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Well, that's gotta have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. off here at the third hole a split green here it is difficult to make birdie twos but par threes should be had opting for the five iron yeah. Yeah, quality shot that Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. This one's looking good. 
That's inside the range. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The fourth of TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. And from the greenside rough here. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Unreal display this week with that wand. Let's head over to the 12th. Sitting at five under for the day. Oh, I thought that one was going in. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Mm -hmm. A thing of beauty. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdies all over that scorecard. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. And choosing the eight iron here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Outstanding shot. High quality. And why don't we catch up with JT in another great moment, shall we? Well done. Let's get back to it, shall we? Lining up the birdie putt here. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Time to tee off at the sixth. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Well, this one's going right at the flag. And hitting yet another green here today. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless.
Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will take him to six under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Ooh, bold play here. Going with the Chief off the tee. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, and then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Oh, well done. Time for the second shot here at the seven. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. I don't mind the look of this. Oh, well, hold for Eagle. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey guys, we are checking in here with Brooke Henderson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 15th. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Par three and a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. A great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. A spot in the top ten awaits if they can make this putt. Surely it's going to. Oh, how about that one? I oh, will take that and a spot in the top ten to boot. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Ninth hole. Bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. From about 130 yards here. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And a fantastic look upcoming. Always nice to have a birdie putt. These are on rails, looking good. Gets that one to go down, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And now we go to the 18th, and this happened just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Par four, straight away. A hole that is simple and difficult, all in the same breath. Oh, 
This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the 10th. This is looking pretty good in the air. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Fourth shot here. That's in the jar. Let's return to live play now. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. Job done. Let's head to the next. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Currently 11 under par for the event. Teeing off now at the 11th hole. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Come on, get down. Oh, absolutely flushed. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. Looking really good, this one. Yeah, nicely hold. He's currently tied for fourth. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. You'll need it. Awesome stuff. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, this is straight back into the breeze. Going to be a tough one. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Good shot there. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. Currently 13 under for the event. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Time to see what this par four has in store. Par four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four. And he's down there. Wind starting to get up, but it's helping, which is nice. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. That one just slides by.
Yeah, well played. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Looking really good. What a putt to make. Well done. And it's worth taking another look at that one. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Just one off the lead after that hole. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. That's a good-looking shot there. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par 5 for the locals. They converted par 4 for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Terrific shot, and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. Looks good. Oh, well played. He's currently in a share of top spot. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Par four, 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. <laughs> Why don't we catch up with what Tiger Woods is up to? Fantastic touch on this one. Great putt. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Second shot here on the 15th. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Oh, what a stroke. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. This one is right down the pipe. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Putting for birdie here. It 
It's half a chance of being hold this one. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Wonderfully played. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. Well struck. A look here to get to 18 under the card with this putt. Little birdie look in here. Oh, so close. And this one is for his par. Now leading by one shot. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston can be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. And what are we looking at here, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Looks to be going with the six iron. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. What a shame. He's hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Wonderful effort. That was sensational, Luke. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Now look how they attacked this one. 